Father's Day, Dad. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. What are those old 4020s doing sitting here? Now I guess the title of the video is going to be a dead giveaway, but yeah, today's the day. Dad's 4020 is coming back. And this is our 4020. This is one we traded for, or how did we end up? I think we bought this outright a few years ago. We don't use it a whole heck of a lot. Really, Dad just wanted a 4020 because that was the very first tractor he ever bought. This was his first tractor was a 4020. Specifically the one that's about to show up, but uh, we found this one at a local uh, used equipment sales place So that's how we end up with it. They are tr the people that have his 4020. They are trading us for this 4020 So this one's leaving and we're getting his old one. So this should be super exciting I know dad's really gonna be loving this and uh, I think it's cool as crap I've never been around this tractor a whole lot just uh, when we went and looked at it never drove his 4020 but we'll gonna get to it, and that's pretty cool stuff. That's a uh, that's history I didn't think I'd get a, you know, actually put my hands on. So, pretty excited. They should be here in about 20 minutes. Now, just because this is a John Deere love story, don't mean we don't have a little bit of fit action in it. That's the dealership that this one came from. Used, of course. It's close. I can see it. We're getting there. She didn't start, so I'm gonna give her the pull start treatment. In gear? Yeah. There we go. Got her. Yep. Oh, over here on the home front, looks like we got a good old toad catching happening. We got Dax. He has a frog and he keeps stepping on it. <laughs> Come on, charge. Huh? Come on, charge. All that ain't no good. Well, I 
That's his first stroll in that tractor since 1976. Now, if you don't think that's cool, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Hey guys, this is a voiceover. I might have screwed up and had the GoPro set to time lapse instead of record, but this is the first time Dad's drove this tractor since 1975, so I definitely wanted to include that on the video. Now, a little fun farm trivia for you. The last time this tractor was here, it got loaded up on a low boy right here where I'm standing in my front yard, which was then my dad's parents' house. So, uh, we're going to grab a picture right here because, because why not? Now this is clearly just for a picture. This fuel pump doesn't work, but this is pretty cool. You probably don't have the one you had in 76. I don't think so. All right, where are you putting it at? Out there in the shed where the other one was. Somebody put it in. Okay. I think we need a new alternator. Well, are you gonna tell me all about this thing? This thing's been a legend my whole life, so. Huh. First time I've ever actually been around. Well, that, well, get on tractor. Get well, when you tractor. bought this thing, it didn't have the cab on it, right? No, it just had a uh, regular uh, open station. It had, uh, then I decided to put a cab, what, a year, a couple of years, let's see, probably two years after I had it. They come out with cabs. I know the neighbor got a cab up there and, and year-round come out with this cab, so we put the year-round cab on it. So when you had it, did it have any kind of roll bar or anything, or no, was it completely? No, they didn't. No, they didn't have roll bars back then. Okay. So I put a, uh, a cow thing around the cowing to insulate it, and that's part of it right there. Yet. This is one of the ways that we were that's able to figure out right that this there. was probably his tractor. I mean, obviously they made more than one 4020 and there's probably more than one of these cabs, but. You see, these have been broken. I remember I broke them and they've been well, of course they might have broken too. But, uh, I remember them things. Now, broke. didn't you have some kind of tray or something? Well, there's a tray right there. Did you put that there? Or? Well, I got to look, no. No, I thought it did, but no, it snaps in. Somebody welded on there. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, it's, it's welded on there. That opens the windows there, it latch, but the windows open up, yeah. Okay. So. But, yeah. DNA, that's where it come from. So this is the dealer you bought it from? Well, no, no. That's, that's the dealer you I traded it to. I bought it down Waverly off Bud Smith. See, this is the dealer that you traded it to. to GNA, yeah. So you traded this for a night for a, in 1975. Yep. yep. So, yep. Man, it'd be really cool if we could get that tractor back. Well, hmm. I think it might happen. Maybe. We'll see. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's got to wait. So when you had this, what did you guys do with this tractor? Like, what was this tractor? Well, I moved plow. I had a five bottom Oliver plow for it. And that's what we plowed with. And of course, the old thirty ten was only three bottom. So what did you plant with? The thirty ten. So you didn't plant six, with this. No. So this was the big horse. This was the big horse. Or when my brother started, John started. Well, then we bought another forty four or forty twenty. Put a cab on it. It had a Henniker cab. So it didn't look like this one then. The cab wasn't quite like that, no. The windows opened up that way. Which one was better? Uh, the windows opened that way. You look more air in, but it didn't about, about So I see there's a heater in it, right? Oh, yeah, there's a heater. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so make no mistake, folks. There's no air conditioning. No, there. no air, boy. It's hot. Jeez. So in the summertime, would it have been better with no cab? Oh, yeah. But you guys did plowing with it, so you wanted heat for the yeah, winter. Yeah, we used a lot of it in the fall, and it was always plowed all year long until it froze. In early. I remember plowing the. I can remember plowing when uh, everybody was going to Louisville. I remember uh, neighbors went to Louisville. So that was February. I remember more plowing right down there in that field down there. So was this window busted out the last time we seen it? I don't know. No, remember. they busted that out. They said, put the post on the deer to it. Oh, man. So we definitely have some work to do to it. It looks like it's dripping. Um, oh, it's got some leak. The fuel pump's leaking. And probably what we do is this winter, 
It's probably just tear apart and rebuild the engine. Dad's talking about wanting to take the cab off. I, I don't know. It's his tractor. Obviously, he can do whatever he wants. I think it's cool that it's just like it was the day it left the farm. But, like he said, it doesn't have air conditioning. I doubt we do anything with it, but I don't know. We'll oh, see. Got boots on for it. We'll do something with it. He just wants to put a roll bar on top of it, so we'll see. Roll cage of it better. So. It's widened out, in it? Yeah, it's widened out. The other one was. That's probably the original weights. I never had weights on Like that. Now, John's had the motor style. How many gallons of fuel did these hold? Do you remember? I want to say 34 gallons, something like that. Now, will that run you eight hours? Yeah, pretty well. Yeah, I'd run about all day. I ain't never set in this thing. Now, this is going to be just like the Challenger, right inside? Yeah. The cab? Almost. I feel like it's probably just as. Better. Might be even more roomy. It's cleaned up, it'll probably be a little nicer. Oh, uh, okay. Definitely more room. It's definitely more exotic. There's yeah. definitely more things living in it. Yeah, you're a little. It feels tighter than the open station one. Does this move any? No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See that? The old one, that one we just they took had the console or the controls were up here. Right. And this one's got the side console. Or, uh, 67 they come with, or 68 they come with side console. That's how you tell them apart. 67 or 8, something like that. Now I have driven the other 4020, but not a lot. But they're the same transmission, aren't they? Same synchrony, same transmission. Same tractor. Just control for different. It looks like this one, if the odometer or the hour meter is working, we got 6,725 hours. Do you remember how many it had when it left? I want to say it had a little over 3,000 hours when I got rid of it. So, half of those hours he put on this tractor 50 years ago. Yep. So, this was, if you guys are new to the channel, this was Dad's first tractor, bought brand new in 1968. So. Fall 68. You got out of high school, bought a no, truck. Uh, spring of 68. So you bought it right before you graduated? Yeah. Then I bought it the summer, I think. Summer of 68? I think it was summer of 68, after I got out of school. After I got out of school. So, just, just goes to show you how much things have changed in ag. Imagine an 18 year old kid buying a brand new, high horsepower for the time tractor. So. Uh, you remember what you paid for it? I want to say $8,400. Eighty-four hundred dollars. Paid cash. Paid cash <laughs> hasn't happened in a while around here. No. But Full of cow money, cash. Yeah, able to pay cash for it with uh, money from livestock sales. So it's it's pretty neat. Say it doesn't look like it's dented all the crap. I mean, I've seen. One little place here. Definitely seen ones worse. I'm oh, yeah, right. Surprised you didn't do worse to it. No, buddy, it was waxed when I had it. Well, the One thumbnail minute. picture is the day that it left. So it left here on in July 1975. So the picture in the thumbnail, the picture I showed you, and the picture we just recreated, that was from 1975, and it looked pretty, pretty much brand new then. Changed oil every 50 hours. Changed oil every 50 hours. Yeah, yeah we've got newer tires than the one we sent. Did you have this style front tires that size, you think? Yeah, yeah, that's probably about what I had. They were a little flatter than those, but, but yeah, I don't. I, the other one I had three, four ribs. I could go on that other one, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what these have. The ones I had was a little bit flatter. They were good years. These probably the cheaper ones. Uh, they're far so. If I guess when this happened or when this was coming in today, I, I wasn't thinking about this. But if you're new to the channel, Dad's like I said, Dad's first twenty tractor was a forty twenty, and the gentleman that we traded this tractor to get this tractor, we farmed for, and I believe last spring was the first time we seen this tractor at his place. Um, I can't remember if I was planting or dad was planting or if we were going there to harvest or what, but we each both seen it. And I remember dad's always talked about his year round cap. It says year round right there. 
So when I seen that, I was like, man, that must be, that must be just like what Dad had when he was 18 years old. And Dad stopped and looked at it roughly the same time, and he said, man, that is that is just like my tractor. So we got to talking to the gentleman that owned it, and he mentioned where he bought it. Well, Dad knew who bought it from the dealer that he traded it to. Exact same area. And we got to talking and uh, comparing, you know, what, what each one of us knew, the former owner and us. And lo and behold, this was it. So that's how we were able to track it down. It never left Ross County. It was, it was sold in Ross County, wasn't it? Or you saw it was sold in Pike County. Wait, Pike County. So it's, it's always been in this area its whole life. So that's, that's pretty neat. So I never thought I'd see this tractor. Like I said, I've heard about it my whole life. But I never thought I'd see it. Never thought I'd get to drive it. So... Pretty cool. Now if we could just find his 65 Nova. That's another thing I've heard about my whole life. Yeah. We do have a 65 Nova like that when he was a kid, but it ain't the 65. But uh, it's still pretty cool. Say it runs good? Oh, it shifts good. It just shift better than one we said. They put a different seat on it, a newer style seat on it. Yeah, it shifts good and everything. He still had the original fenders, and he said he sold those after he traded the tractor. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, we do have some stuff we want to do to that tractor. I don't know if it's going to happen in the summer. It's going to happen in the winter. But it's home now, and that's the main thing. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey, don't forget to like the video on the way out. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, and you like these kind of like family history videos, a couple years ago I did several videos talking about the tractors Dad's had over the years, the combines he's had over the years. Uh, there's several old pictures. There's even footage of that 4430 we were talking about in this video actually being used. So I think they're in a playlist. If they are, I'm going to put a card to that playlist right here, and you can check those out. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.